We've been traveling Australia by sea for over a year now. Our floating home, Sylvia, and the wind have taken us down the east coast of the Great Barrier Reef, all the way down to the southern point. And now we've reached the end. We're not sure what diving will be like after leaving it, so we're looking to discover new reefs and places to play in. And even some sceneries that Sylvia's never been seen in before. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore the planet both above and below the surface. And see what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. Yesterday we were in Nusa Heads and then we went to dive in the um, Brisbane HMAS and now we were supposed to go here but I would come and, and dive how was the name of the rock? Flinders Reef. Flinders Reef. Yeah. But what happened? What happened is that the compressor broke during the night. We are motoring overnight and the compressor broke. So no tanks, so no point to go to Flinders to dive. In the middle of the night, we decided to come to Lumba Wreck, so in Morton Islands. Uh, but it's so now it's here we are, but yeah, the weather is not with us, so I don't know. Uh, I don't so know. let's see what happens. It's just, it's just 8, 8 a.m. So we still have all day. The plan can still change 20 times. Like, look at the weather. So it's not an amazing, ideally weather to no. to go. So finger crossed. Thankfully, the rain went away and Mr. Sun came out to play. Coming up to the wrecks and we're anchoring down there. <laughs> Look how close we can see the. <laughs> that was pretty close. It was. I'm not sure if he knew how close that was. How many Amy's away from the wreck were we? Less than one Amy. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> that was close, that. <laughs> I don't know if you get it, but if if you had the perspective like at the back, it it was like this far away from the wrecks actually. Like you couldn't see the depth in the in the Garmin thing, and you couldn't. So, so now, and now we are like three meters, yeah, two meters, like four yeah, meters, like and it was like zero. That meant that I don't, I don't know, I don't know what that meant. Oh my God! Too close. Yeah, too close. Too close for comfort. Uh, bad timing, we were coming into a tight spot and then this boat, right when I was like, okay, I'm going to start turning, it was coming. So the current just kept pushing us to a tighter spot. And by the time that boat moved, which I just like pretty much was just gunning into him, uh, and we made the turn, oh, we missed, we almost became another Tangaluma wreck. Yeah. <laughs> Tangaluma wreck. <laughs> yeah. Number 21, Tangaluma wreck. Oh my God. Yeah, we probably missed it by a good meter. When these things happen, <laughs> but did you die? Tangaluma wrecks are a cluster of ships that are only 26 nautical miles from Brisbane. The wrecks are shallow, so we spent all afternoon exploring the long chain of swim-throughs. They're home to a huge variety of marine life and are especially well known for wobbegongs, which are a carpet shark. These sharks can grow up to 1.2 meters, and to me, they're one of the most beautiful sharks with their striking patterns and bright yellow-orange colors. Their whisker lobes make them incredibly unique looking, which they use as sensory barbs and help them camouflage.
Finally, after hours, the sun began to set, so it was time to get out the water. They just put here like um, a lot of boats. They sing there just to stop the soundbar, so we can. No, yeah, yeah. That's good, yeah. yeah, and then it makes like artificial, nat or natural channel thing. Yeah. And it feels so delightful to have nowhere to be. change the filter on our PE100. Now every compressor has a different amount of tank pumps that it can do before you change the filter, but pretty much all uh, compressors have a filter that you need to change out frequently. And for us that's actually quite often because we have a big crew diving all the time. So usually it's I think anywhere from 40 to 60 tanks you change the filter. So for us it's a constant, it's just a way of life. So anyway, we're going to change our filter right up in here. Ah. Now usually these are disposable and they're plastic, um, but as you can imagine with us going through so many, that's a lot of wasted plastic. So what we've done is we actually have these reusable ones that we got from a dude named Steve here in Australia. And uh, it's really nice because what you do is you deconstruct it and then you change out the uh, different particles and elements that are in here, and then you repack it and put it back in. good to go we plug this back into our compressor and then we're good to pump tanks again with nice new fresh clean air Are just making our way up. This is Moreton Island behind me, and it has got huge dunes. All these sand islands in the area are just surprising. Between here and Fraser, it's just massive, massive sand islands. This one is supposed to have the largest coastal sand dune in the world, but we are on our way to a reef, Flinders Reef, and it is supposed to have the most diverse coral of any uh, reef in South Great Barrier. So just a bunch of pockets of just different kinds. So that's going to be pretty cool. And as you can see, it is quite busy. It's a, it's a long weekend here. Australians love their weekends, man. It seems like every weekend is a long weekend. I, I promise you that. And good for them. Uh, very recreational, outdoorsy people. And um, so I'm seeing just a literally like a navy of little boats out here, just out here doing their, their weekend fish. So that's what's going on here. But for me, I'm gonna go film the fish instead. So let's go, let's go scuba diving, huh? We just woken up, half a tea, and today that I told night we are ready to jump in the water. We are the early birds of the group, so yeah, we are getting all the stuff ready, the cameras ready. So let's just go. Whoa, babe, I must confess.
Spot right under here. There's like a lot of swim throughs and stuff on this side. Just beautiful. Great dive. Great dive. It's life, it happens fast. I'll enjoy the time in this hourglass. Yes, I will. 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 Excuse the uh, engine behind me rattling away. We keep saying, hey, oh man, we've left the Great Barrier Reef, the diving's not gonna be as good, blah, blah, blah. Bull crab, man, it is just getting better and better. I think, I don't know, maybe because my expectations have been lowered so that it just keeps exceeding them, but man, the diving's been amazing. What I enjoyed most about Flinders Reef right here is that the interaction between species was very evident there. The wrasses will follow you around, and what they're doing is they're following you because um, they know that along your dive, you're gonna come along sergeant majors. And sergeant majors lay their eggs all over walls. So it's just like this purple goo on the walls of all their eggs. And as you get close, you'll scare the sergeant majors away, which leave an opportunity for the wrasses to come in and just clean up and eat them. So you try to be aware of that. And a lot of people are diving, they don't even understand like what's going on there. But it's, uh, yeah, fish aren't stupid and they've learned how to use humans to hunt even. So that's kind of interesting. It's actually, everybody said that it's a really good dive site. We've seen lots of fish, a couple of octopus. I will remember this dive site as a really colorful. Like beautiful corals, beautiful fish, uh, a lot of like, it was teeming with life. Every corner you see, there was a fish there. And rare species too, like uh, Nate, you saw an adult box, yellow box fish. We never seen one, so we didn't even know that it was an adult yellow box fish. So I think it's, it's been pretty like unique species that we found here this time. So we're pretty happy. It's just, it's just sad that we have to keep on our journey and leave the reef. But we have to, we have to keep on moving. I can't be happier than I am right now, than I am right now. I can't be happier than I am right now, than I am right now. Sunshine, we got all we need. What a blessing! I got you here with me. We got sunshine, we got all we need. What a blessing! Got you here with me. Ah, oh, it's cool, man. Yeah, yeah really cool.
last dinghy ride. That's just getting sadder and sadder. <laughs> so today is the day. Today is my last day I'm leaving. And um, I'm sad, yeah, but I'm happy as well because I feel like that's the beginning of a new adventure for me and I'm really excited. I arrived here, I wanted just adventure, craziness and now I'm leaving, I'm like full of good memories and I'm really happy about this last five or six months. And so, yeah, just I couldn't ask for more. It was, it met my expectation and I love the bird life. I love the people and everything was just awesome. So yeah, I'm quite sad because now it's going back to the land life yep so maybe not as exciting but who knows who knows so yeah i'm gonna miss day. you though i'm gonna miss you as well. I, know, I don't want you to leave i know it's the saddest part it's like okay i'm going to miss sylvia diving all this but the people oh. i'm going to miss the people the most not the mm. best saying goodbye never gets any easier and for the crew of sylvia it's a common occurrence everybody leaves eventually and they also leave their mark, whether it be through the videos they create or the things they help fix. Sylvia will be forever grateful for their input. The memories made here and the ragtag family they become a part of will forever be a little piece of every crew's heart. So thank you for your time with us, Megan, and all the best on your next journey. Next time on Expedition Drenched, we sail to Australia's most famous surf destination, Byron Bay. But just 1.3 miles from the break is a place called Julian Rocks, which just so happens to be one of the best dive sites we've ever witnessed. I decided to come to Tulu, Tulum, Tulum, Tulumba, Tulumba, yeah, Tulumba wreck. Is it my, is it my turn? You can't, no, right, you just can't. That would be terrible if you can't. That would be, I mean, that would be terrible if you can't. Right, it's my turn. We're playing. You can't do that. It's a do, cause now.